Hey, how you doing? Today we're gonna make some ravioli and in my ravioli I like a meat filling so I have a pound of mild Italian sausage. I'm gonna add mushrooms to it, onions to it, and garlic. So we'll get everything prepared here real quick and start cooking up our filling for our ravioli. So what I want to do First off, I use a smaller knife because of my neuropathy, it's a little easier to handle. So I'm going to cut my mushrooms and I just want to give them a dice. I'm going to slice them first. A little hard to hold on to. And then I'm just going to chop them, dice them up. Kind of small. So I, I used to make ravioli with ricotta and spinach and different things like that but my personal preference is a meat filling and I like Italian sausage so that's what I'm going with today so there we have our mushrooms we're gonna cut an onion real quick I can get it peeled. There we go. The trash there. So take it in half for now. I want a small dice on this. Maybe just a little bit more. That's plenty. So I have my onion. hands real quick. We'll take care of the garlic. I like a lot of garlic in my ravioli. A couple more. There we go. Okay, we'll get this chopped up. So there, we're all set there. Wash my hands. We'll clean this up. So now, next thing we're gonna do is fry our mild sausage. We'll fry it with the onions and then incorporate the mushrooms and towards the end, we'll add the garlic. And then at the very end, um, I'm gonna put some Parmesan cheese in it. So let me get that ready and we'll head over to the stove and start cooking our filling. Okay guys. Um, got everything over at the stove so we can start cooking. We need to grab some olive oil and some Parmesan cheese. I use the grated cheese in the shaker bottle. So let me grab that and then we'll start cooking our filling. Cheese, olive oil. All right, so we need to get a little bit of olive oil in our pan, not much. That sausage has a lot of fat in it. I got the pan heating up. Get our sausage in there. Get 
get her heat up a bit okay so I wanna fry this but I want to get it broken up as much as I can for my filling that olive oil is gonna taste good in it we're getting up the heat there's some sizzle I, I like the mild Italian sausage I'm not real keen on the hot or actually the sweet but mild I like so I mean when you're making ravioli you can you can make them with ricotta and spinach and I used to make them like that but this is my supper tonight so I want meat I'm gonna add my onions I don't want to put the garlic in right now it'll burn and I keep chopping it up I want it to be fine mushrooms will sweat out quick so I'll wait a while on them oh, it smells good already ravioli is a pretty good comfort food um, and it's it's not hard to make um, the key is shaping it and I'm going to show you how I do it how I've been doing it for geez since mid 80s Italian sausage smells good when it's cooking so I like to use a spatula actually when I'm doing this I can get in these silicone ones they won't melt or deform just easier and reduce my heat a bit just easier to get in there and flip it over get the onions in there I'm gonna add my mushrooms I like mushrooms so I'm, I'm going to pepper it but I'm not going to add any salt at all because the ravioli are going to be cooked in salt water and that'll be enough salt to season it just continue cooking and reducing the size these raviolis that I'm making they aren't going to be huge so I, that's why I'm kind of chopping this up a bit I'm going to add my garlic oh man talk about smelling good right now I could smell that garlic yeah I want this to be pretty fine because like I said my my raviolis aren't going to be huge going to pepper it I like a lot of pepper I'm a pepper guy we're almost there all right now I want to add a little Parmesan because I just want the Parmesan flavor I'm going to add some more. This is Sargento Parmesan. I like it. Stuff is good. Mm. That's all I want. No green peppers. Just Italian sausage, mushrooms, onions, 
garlic, Parmesan cheese. So there you go. There's my filling. So now we have to make our pasta. So this is good to go. And we'll get ready to make our pasta. All right, it's time to make our pasta. Um, I'm going to use the food processor. <laughs> this is this very old one. I think it came out when they were first created. I've had a long time, a lot of miles on it. You can put your flour on a work surface, make a well in the middle, put your eggs in it, and then just keep stirring it until you incorporate the flour and then get it in a ball and knead it. Um, but you, you need to knead it like 15 minutes. If I use a food processor, um, I'm only gonna need to bring it to, into a ball and then uh, we can give it a rest. So what you wanna do, we're gonna add our flour first. And this is two cups of flour. And we're gonna pulse this a couple, couple times. Now, you can use double O flour, um, which is a very fine milled flour. It's, it's like complete powder. The problem is with pasta, especially making ravioli like we're going to do, it just doesn't hold up as well for making our ravioli. So this is two cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to add our eggs. This is three eggs, and we wanna we wanna beat them. We don't wanna necessarily whip them, but we wanna beat them so we can incorporate it in the flour easier. So we'll put our eggs in. Homemade pasta is good. I used to make spaghetti and linguine and all kinds of it. So we're going to run this until it... Probably only going to take half a minute. We're going to run it until it turns into a ball. So this is a little crummy, so what we need to do is add a little water. I'm just going to do a teaspoon at a time. I can do it through the top. starting to get there just want it to ball up what we're looking for it's going to be a little shaggy which means it's going to be a little wet so we're going to put some flour on our work surface get our dough out careful you don't cut yourself get all that dough in the bottom of the bowl move our machine now so we want to knead it a little bit I'd say that's good 
I'm going to wash my hands. So we're going to cover this. We just want to give it a good rest. Oh, 20 minutes, half hour. Right now, if we were to try to roll this out, the gluten, it wouldn't let us roll, roll it out. It would, you'd roll it, it'd come back, roll it, come back. So we want to let it rest for a little bit. In the meantime, we can clean this stuff up and then uh, we'll get ready to make our pasta. Alrighty, our pasta dough has rusted. We have our pasta roller set up. Um, right here, I have a, just a cookie sheet with a towel on it. I'm gonna run some pasta out and then I'll put it on the cookie sheet and just cover it with a damp towel so it doesn't dry out. So we don't wanna try to run all of this pasta. We're gonna cut it in half. And then let's quarter it and see if that'll work. So the rest of this, you definitely want to keep covered up. If you don't, when you try to work it, it'll it'll crack. So we get this padded into a little ball. I had the machine set on the widest setting, the number one. So we want to run it through once. And then we're gonna we're gonna book fold it like this and like that and then we're going to run it back through if it starts to stick a bit you can dust it we'll book fold it again now now what we want to do is go to number two on the machine And run it through at number two. I'm going to dust it a little bit more. Okay. Just slow. Now we're going to take it to three. Run it through at three. Go to four. Five. We'll probably go to seven. Maybe six. I can see my fingers through it. I'm thinking that might be good right there. So I'm gonna keep that one covered up. I'll grab another quarter. Gotta go back to one. This one's a little bigger because I added that piece and that's okay okay we're gonna move this to two four I can see my fingers under it I think I'll take this one one more time through to five. So I'm going to fold it on itself and you don't want it to stick. Just give it a little flour to pop it on the tray. So I'm not going to roll all this out right now because I just want to make ravioli. So um, I'm going to stop this. I can refrigerate the dough. Clean this up and then I'll show you how we make ravioli. Okay guys, we're ready to start filling our ravioli. This is what I use, it's a ravioli maker. I've had it for ever. 
So what we want to do is we need to get a sheet of dough. And we want to cover it. I'm going to trim a little off. Now, to make the indentations, the maker comes with this gadget that's got all these half circles in it that we put on the maker and gently press in. And there we have all of our holes for our filling which we're going to grab real quick. No, I don't need that. So we're just going to fill the cavities with our meat. This maker makes 12. And they're going to be good. So we fill them in. You can kind of poke them down in there. Not too bad. Goes pretty good. Now I've lightly sprayed the ravioli maker and the indentation maker so. Nothing will stick. Just about got them filled. And usually when I make these, I make a bunch. I lay them on a cookie sheet and I freeze them. And then when they're frozen, I vacuum pack them into portion sizes. So there we go with the filling. I'll clean this guy up a bit. Put that aside. And we need our next piece of pasta. We lay on top. Just like that. We can trim this one. Now we want to gently roll from the middle out.
pull the outside away. Spread your little raviolis out here. And then you want to separate them. looking pretty good it's not hard it's actually kind of fun so we'll come through get the minnows There we go. So there is a if you can see it. There's my ravioli. So I'm gonna put them on a cookie sheet so they don't dry out. And that's it. That's all we need to do to make some nice ravioli for supper. So there we have it. There's our little pillows, our little ravioli with a basil marinara sauce. And of course, I like the Sargento cheese on it. I'm going to taste one real quick. Oh. Look at all that sausage in there. Mmm. That's good. That's perfect. 